Hello Libra, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message for new love, someone who's brand new in your life or who will be coming in. I did post a past love reading, so make sure you check that out. But just remember that energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. coming back welcome back if you are new here welcome just so you're aware i do not read reversals so if a card comes out in the reverse i will flip it upright this is just how i've always read tarot just so you're aware let's see spirit how does this new person feel about libra how does this new person feel what's this one? Oh, wow okay we got the lovers Gemini energy. We also have the Nine of Swords. Tell me how this new person feels. I feel like this person's all over the place. Yeah, we got the Four of Swords here. We got the Page of Cups. So someone definitely feels some sort of strong pull towards you here, um, Libra, but they're very, very worried about it at the same time. It's almost like you know, Gemini kind of got a similar energy where it's almost like some the deeper someone gets, the more fearsome they become because they're so like worried about how it could go. This person definitely has curiosity about you. There's definitely feelings developing here. This person really likes you. Now I do love readings. Love can obviously be a new romantic interest and especially with this lover's card here. But this could just be a new friend. Take it as it resonates. Um, there was a strong energy in the Gemini reading that felt like it was almost like someone from the past that it never really went anywhere and they're looking for a new beginning this time around. It could be something like that. Please just use your intuition. It's going to be different for everyone. But someone here thinks about you a lot. They think about coming forward, about messaging you, about letting you know that they have feelings for you here. This sort of like pull they just feel towards you is something they can't really explain, but it's also something they they worry about and like think about quite a bit tell me more about gemini gemini the lovers you could be dealing with a gemini wow the king and queen of wands just came out together um libra so wow there's definitely a lot of chemistry here there's a lot of passion i feel like you um, like evoke some sort of like fire in this person. You both might have a very similar outlook on um, life in general, but just things that you love to do. You might both very be very well be um, like socialites, people that are, are known very well. Um, doesn't have to be. I feel like you, this person finds you very attractive. There's, there's a connection here that you might be like this person's like perfect type or something like that just there's just features or like things about you this person is just, like look at this king of wands just looking over at the queen of wands right just like adoring her now i'm um, doesn't mean this person has to be a male and you have to be a female or vice versa it's just it's just the energy here but wow um i can't remember a, a king and queen of the same uh uh, element here came out together to clarify the lovers so I mean this could very well be that there's a very strong physical connection between the two of you there's a lot of chemistry maybe a lot of flirting here but it's actually quite deeper than that and that's what scares this person perhaps this person is used to connecting just on a physical level or is able to keep it just there um, whereas something here with you is quite deep and it worries this person i'm gonna pull on that nine of swords to understand a little bit more but wow so someone here feels like you are their perfect match here um i almost called you gemini again libra so if you're feeling that way with someone new and you just feel like wow this person is exactly like especially physically what 
you know, is exactly who I would go for, or there's just this chemistry between us, that might be who I'm picking up on here because it feels like it gets hot and heavy between the two of you, I'm not gonna lie. Um, let me just put these here and understand more about this Nine of Swords because this is really standing out to me that this person is like really overthinking a lot of things here. Tell me about the Nine of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the three, you know, someone here feels like what they've been hoping for in a partner, that passion, that fire, that chemistry, that just like aliveness that they feel with you is what they've been hoping for. And it's finally here. It's something they don't want to let go of, but it's also something they don't really want to tell you, Libra. Now, I feel like this is because this person worries, they overthink, right? They worry if it'll make things more complicated Right? especially if this is supposed to just be like a more casual connection or something like that. Perhaps this is a friend who's realizing like they're falling for you or you know they're very attracted to you and it's hard to just be your friend, right? They worry about, I'm getting like tower energy a little bit here. Like they worry about making it harder than it has to be between the two of you. Um, let me see if I can understand more about that. Tell me about the 10 of wands, the six of swords. You know what I get? I get like this person was supposed to stay away from you or something like that. We got the five of cups and the two of pentacles. This person feels like they're supposed, like, this is not supposed to happen to this person. They're not supposed to feel this stressed out about it. They're not supposed to overthink this so much. So even that they're doing that in and of itself is is really hard on this person. They're like, usually I'm able to just, you know, keep it casual, keep it you know, not get feelings involved, not feel anything deeper than, you know, it's just a hookup or whatever it might be, but that's not what this is for this person. It's reminding them of the past too, which also came through for Gemini's reading. So perhaps there's something that this person has gone through where they're like, I'm never going to let that happen again. I'm never going to, um, you know, go back and forth between this is just surface level versus no, I'm actually like caring about this person and falling for this person. They always, it's like keeping a distance to keep themselves safe, but they can't help it with you here, Libra. This is like, they, how can you deny that? It's like, they feel like you are their perfect match here. Um, as that King of Wands went upside down, now I don't read reversals, um, but I do intuitively pick up uh, messages that can technically be the reversed message. And I felt like there was jealousy there. I felt like there could have been like an aspect of control there. Um, perhaps this person is a type of person where they, they feel like if I get too attached, I'll start, you know, where are you? Where are you going? Who are you with? Whereas maybe this is, I, I just get this energy, like this was supposed to just be a friendship or just to be more casual. And it's getting deeper than that. And this person is not wanting to make it more complicated, more stressful, but they, they're worrying a lot. And they're trying to keep all of this to themselves, basically, Libra, is what I'm getting. So let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. The Knight of Wands, okay. The Two of Cups. The High Priestess, Pisces Energy, and the Page of Wands. There's a lot of flirtation. There's a lot of chemistry, a lot of sparks that fly between the two of you. Now, this person definitely wants to come together here with you with that Two of Cups. This is my soulmate card. This is someone, they just feel drawn to you. You got the lovers and the soulmate, um, and my Two of Cups, I should say. This person can't really explain why they feel the way they feel towards you, but they feel some sort of pull here with this High Priestess. It's almost like in, their intuition is just guiding them to you. Now, I feel like their actions, though, are being flirty, being, you know, letting you know they're interested, but also being inconsistent and hot and cold here. Like, it's almost like, hey, Libra, like, I'm interested in you, you know, you look good, or, we, you know, we, we uh, look like a good match together, or there is this chemistry, or what have you. They're not denying that, but they're also not trying to come on too strong, but also it, it, I feel like it's more like they don't want to get attached. Like they're like, I know how I get. That's how I get, like what I get from this person. Like I know how I'm going to be. And I'm going to be, again, maybe a little bit controlling here, a little bit like, like can get jealous. So their way of handling that is to kind of like be in and out, be hot and cold. So it's like, okay, yeah, I, I won't get too attached this way if I don't stay too long or I don't like, so this might be someone who, you know, you go to dinner with, 
go back uh, to to your place or what have you or their place and then you know they're like okay you gotta go or like I have to go when the the vibe isn't going that way it seems like we were having a good time seems like you know perhaps you were gonna stay or something like that and they might even do that at dinner or something I don't know there's just this energy where this person's it's almost like their fear is getting in the way they're like don't get too attached don't do that they have like certain rules or something that they abide by tell me about that knight of wands so we're trying to keep it more surface level here page of pentacles you said see page of pentacles it's like like you might even get confused by this person because it's like one minute they're super into you and then the next minute they might act more like a friend or they might act like more like whoa slow your roll kind of here libra like i don't know this is but they definitely want to come together here with you. There's definitely messages coming. You got two pages, a two of cups. This is this person like wanting to hang out, wanting to spend time, you know, flirting with you, letting you know that they're interested, they're curious, but but they're they're trying to keep it low key at the same time here. Anything else for their actions? Yeah, you see, look at that, eight of cups. They're trying to act emotionally distant. They're trying not to get too attached here. They're like, I, I can't go too far i want the connection i want to you know spend time with libra but i don't want to feel like i'm the only one who has these feelings or be so far gone that now all of a sudden i can't stop thinking about libra or whatever it might be like this the, this person's had some sort of connection before where it, it's almost it's like they don't trust themselves they don't trust themselves to have the ability to have feelings for you, but also be able to like be independent and still have their own thing going on or what have you. I feel like this person gets anxious. I feel like they get, I, I just keep hearing jealousy. I don't know, Libra, that's, that's how it feels to me. Let me know in the comments if you feel like this is resonating with you, but let me see their intentions just to be sure. What is this person's intentions with Libra? What do they really want? There's the two of swords, the six of wands. They definitely want your attention. The moon, Pisces energy. They're indecisive though. They're, it's like not making a, de a decision is their decision right now. Um, we got the sun, the high priestess and the nine of pentacles. Yeah. This is, so this is someone who's like, I still want you around Libra. I still want your attention, but I'm going to main, remain mysterious here. But again, I, even with the sun and the moon coming out together here, we have Pisces, Leo energy here, heavy Pisces. Um, it's like, you kind of get two sides of this person. It's like, sometimes they're like, everything's great. Everything feels good. You feel like everything's out in the open. You understand where they're at. It seems like it's going one way and then all of a sudden this person might retreat and you feel like you're left in the dark again and you feel like, I don't know what's going on with this person. Um, that's kind of like their their game here. It's like they... They struggle. They struggle between following like their intuition, the high priestess coming out again here of just go for it. Something feels right about Libra. Something feels good about Libra versus like, I don't need anybody. I'm not going to get too attached here. I'm going to just keep it surface level. I'm just going to keep it, you know, um, casual here. Tell me more about the nine of pentacles. They the four of pentacles didn't this come out already no i guess it didn't but yeah this person keeps things to themselves it's like they they're not gonna let you know how they feel here so you're dealing with someone who may not have the emotional intelligence and the ability to communicate in the way that you want and need libra but you definitely have a connection here that's very strong a lot of chemistry. I feel like you are each other's exact type. There's a lot of passion here, a lot of sparks flying, but this person isn't willing to sort of dive deep, at least not in the next little bit. We're going to see the potential outcome. They intend to kind of keep their distance a little bit here, not in that they don't want to spend time with you, but more in like emotionally. This person is like giving like hot, cold vibes. Um, what's the potential outcome? The Knight of Pentacles. So moving, but moving slowly, but then you also got the Knight of Swords. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like, these are two completely different energies. This is like the slowest moving energy in the deck. And the Knight of Swords is someone who's impulsive, who just goes for it, who just like, you know, almost like doesn't think before they act. They just kind of, 
spur of the moment here. We got the Ace of Pentacles. So again, you might feel like it's going somewhere and then all of a sudden it comes to a halt. And then we got the Tower. The, I feel like out of nowhere, there's going to be more of like a solid offer here. Tell me about that Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, oof, the Ten of Cups, yeah. Out of nowhere here, um, Libra, there will be this solid offer where this person's like, let's see what this can grow into. But I got to be honest with you, if the next little bit with this person of this like flirting, but not really knowing, this person denying what's going on, acting emotionally unavailable, acting distant is too much for you, then, then it is what it is. And this is your journey. But I do feel like there is potential here for this to blossom into something, Libra. So if this feels worth the wait to you, I mean, use your intuition. Um, but I could see why this could also be frustrating because it's almost like, well, why don't you just say it? Why don't you just say how you feel? Why don't we just admit it to each other? I feel like eventually this person does kind of open up more here and there is a lot of happiness the two of you can share, but it's not right away. And I'm not going to lie, but it, it's, it's going to be unexpected. We have Scorpio energy here with this tower. Um, anything else for the potential? This person is really funny. I feel like it's this one. The six of swords. Anything else for the potential outcome? Thank you. The Four of Cups, the Four of Swords, Four of Four here. Yeah, it just, again, it feels like there's distance and then it's like, wait a second, am I missing out on an opportunity here? I, I can see if a time frame comes out in this deck for when this solid offer would come. It feels like eventually, right? But it also feels like for you, even if you decide to disconnect and you're like, okay, you know what? I'm not gonna wait around for this person. I feel like, Libra, this will kind of always linger in the back of your mind. Well, you know, what could have been? You know, what if I did give it that chance? What if I did, you know, stick it out with that person? Or what if, you know, we did just keep it casual and then eventually, like, I feel like you're going to think about it too. Now, that's not to tell you to do something or to not do something, but it feels like it's also on your mind. It's not just on this person's mind. How will Libra know who this is, though? The Knight of Wands, someone who's in and out, hot and cold. Temperance, could be a Sagittarius. Page of Swords, could be a student of some sort. Queen of Pentacles, doesn't have to be. Could be someone who's kind of like, always with new ideas. This might be someone who's like, got a new idea like every week to, for a new career path, or they might be a little bit indecisive, this person, just in general. Maybe they don't even know where they want to eat sometimes. Um, But you know what? I will say, I feel like this person in general is like a very patient person. Like you might almost be surprised by it. Like I'm getting this sort of energy of like, like you see them with a small child, like a niece or a nephew, or maybe they work with children or something like that. And it's almost like you see a different side to them. They're like, wow, like look how patient they are. Look how gentle and kind they are. Um, because they do have this in them. I feel like this person is just scared. They're scared to like fully dive in and, and see what could happen here. Again, this, this kind of came out of the Gemini reading. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, have Gemini in your chart, check it out. Um, I'll link it for you. 18, 20, we'll just do 19, sorry, 1830, just to make it even. So I'll link that uh, Gemini reading for you. What, what advice do you have for Libra? The Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Wands. Now, what I'm getting is a pretty strong message here, Libra. It almost feels like if there is, um, uh, no one likes to feel rejected. No one likes to feel left behind. No one likes to feel like they weren't chosen, right? But if that's how this connection is making you feel, there might be this desire, like, let's just hurry up and get to this, like, end point, right? I don't want to feel like this anymore, but I feel like there almost has to be, like, a surrender because you're going to stress yourself out. If you're trying and trying and trying to make it happen with this person, like, listen, I know we have this strong connection. Why aren't you seeing it? You know, stop denying it. Stop being scared of it. Um, just open up to me. I feel like that's going to actually make it worse. I, and I feel like that also might be playing into a fear that you have of fear of abandonment or fearing like being left behind, right? So, and again, no one likes to feel that way, but I feel like there's just a very strong message here of like, just like, let it be is what I'm getting. Don't shoot the messenger when I say that. Uh, oh, one more. 
One more for advice. Yeah, the, de the devil. Capricorn energy. So any fears here, right? If there's a shadow side coming through here, we all have a shadow side. The devil is in the deck for a reason because it represents our journey. Um, we all have a shadow side. Again, some deep-rooted fears, some deep-rooted beliefs that might sort of cause us to do something. And we don't even know it's happening sometimes. Sometimes it's subconscious, right? Um, it could also kind of go another way where it's like if you have a belief that people leave, people will leave you behind, and this person starts to act that way, it could start to confirm that belief. See, I told you, everyone does this, everyone does that. But then you might be like pleasantly surprised that this actually goes another way. So I feel like just I just keep getting this energy of like just let it be and maybe address any of these fears here that are coming through. So let's see. Okay, you got flowers, happiness. That is that 10 of cups, right? So, and as soon as I'm seeing the flowers, I'm thinking like springtime here. Um, for where I live, that's usually like, that's like when the flowers come out, it's like April, May. Tortoise, <laughs> slowly but surely getting ahead. Do you see? Like slowly but surely getting towards that happiness. But like, I'm not gonna lie to you, it could take some time here. I feel like it's taking forever, but look at you got good news, Libra. So, lobster financial pinch that could just be extra confirmation for someone. And then, dragon beware of self delusion. So, anything you might be like over exaggerating or something like that again, maybe fears that you may have. Um, just be aware of that. Libra, true, look at pure love, honest connection. Wow. Young male, sporty, cars, youthful. Career, business, success, advancement. And then you got young female. So you got young male and young female, youthful, music, fashion. So it could just be that this person makes you feel young again. You make them feel young again, right? You could be young. I mean, what is young? Who, who says who, right? But they did both come out. And again, that doesn't surprise me because this feels like that king of wands, king of wands, queen and king of wands energy, right? You're both kind of maybe into the same things. You got remain positive and wait. Wow. Like very clear message here, Libra. Remain positive and wait. So use your discernment, right? I'm not picking up like third party energy. I'm not picking up that this person has got other options in the wings and, you know, is just using it. That's not what I'm picking up. I'm picking up this person is scared of how deep this is and it's just going to take them some time here. Um, and your message might be to sort of address this sort of desire to hurry it up. Like, what's the rush? If this is your person and, the, and you know you're going to end up with them, what's the rush? Right, because you got remain positive and wait here. Um, so if you know your person to be like dealing with other people, that may not be who I'm picking up on. Look at you got trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. And humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life, like not letting things bog you down too much. Libra. Let's see, messages for Libra. The blue flame, spontaneous awakening, awakening, activation, integration time. I love the spontaneous awakening because it feels like out of nowhere, this person realizes, wait a second, like I could have my happily ever after here with Libra and they want to. Um, maybe it's you too, Libra, that will have this realization. We got round and round, number 25. And then we also got Treasure Island, number nine. Oh, I love this because I feel like this is just the perfect messages for you here, Libra. Are you refusing to see your own personal responsibility for repeating lessons you don't need to relearn? You have to surrender now to the fact that you are the common denominator in all of these repeat performances. Be happy for this is a wonderful spot to be in. You can now see the cycles that you wish to exit. 
Once you figure out that you have the power to stop going round and around, you possess the key to your freedom. Be good to yourself. It's not about blame, but about accountability. You can have the abundant life filled with love and prosperity that spirit so wants for you. Because then you also just got Treasure Island, which is a beautiful message. Because, sorry, I just want to go back to the essential meaning of this, which is the spiral quality of events when a lesson isn't quite integrated, cycles you are challenged to break, revisiting a pattern from a new perspective. And then I also want to read you this, which says, your relationship is a treasure, providing even more than you need, but you may not see that right now. No matter how long you've been together, you and your partner are always discovering hidden gems about yourselves and each other. Now is a time of discovery. It's as if everything is in sync and everything is new again. Romance blooms and love is in the air. You can be assured that this partnership will bring you great gifts and valuable lessons. Keep your heart open. The message of this card is to celebrate love and what it teaches you. I mean, what a beautiful message there, Libra. So... I mean, ideally, we all want to have this Ten of Cups energy, this lover's energy, just right away. No issues, no bumps, no obstacles. But it seems like this, there's just a bit of like a, a slow start to this. This person kind of trying to distance themselves from their own feelings and then really not being able to. Um, but if you still have questions, Libra, make sure you check out my link in the description box for Mystic Sense. There you can connect to a love psychic of your choice and your first five minutes with them are completely free. I am also doing a 200k giveaway. Thank you, Libra. I could not be here without you. Check out the community tab. You will have to scroll down a bit to the 200k giveaway uh, post. There you'll find the contest rules and three lucky subscribers will win a free reading from me. So best of luck. Let's see. Okay, so these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, significant dates. Take it as it resonates. If something here doesn't resonate, though, it doesn't mean it wasn't your reading. So we got Q, Q, and for those who drink bubble tea, you know what that means. Maybe there's something to do with bubble tea with the two of you. And you got I, C, the number seven, and eight. Okay, Libra, so I hope something resonated. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. I am sending you so much love and so much light.